guys i hope you're all feeling fantastic today so we're going to be doing a pick a card reading for what you need to know about your current situation uh yeah so i'm going to show you some tokens uh so that you can decide which group you feel most called to be in so i'm going to show you three tokens here and you will decide which one is going to be for you so I'm gonna pull out a token and label it one, two, and three, and then you can go down in the description box and um, go straight to your reading. So let's do it. So group one, this is gonna be your token. Group one, this is going to be your token. Okay, what do we have? Ooh. That's cool. That looks like the... um. It looks like a picture that I put in my last video. Interesting. So if you, so this is group one. If you're choosing group one, the last video I'm sure resonates with you. But yeah, it looks like you have like a jackrabbit. I'm assuming it's a jackrabbit because it looks like it's jumping very far and it's got long ears. Okay, so group one, you have the number 11 with the jackrabbit or the white rabbit, okay? Group number two, your token. Ooh, is that Holly? I think that's Holly. Okay. Is that Holly or mistletoe? I'm pretty sure it's Holly. So group number two, you have the number four with Holly, the Holly token. And group number three, you have the rain cloud with the number 37. The rain cloud with the number 37 for group number three. Okay, so I'm assuming I'll have these tokens on my cover photo or my thumbnail so that if you need to, you can choose which one that you wanna to go to. But other than that, go ahead and go down to the description box and find which um, timestamp is your reading and I'll see you there. <laughs> okay. Hello, group one. If you chose the jackrabbit with the number 11, this reading is for you. So let's see, what's the information that I'm getting here from this rabbit for you, group number one? You also have the number 11. So let's see, 11. You might be seeing 1111. You could be born on the 11th or your birthday could be in November or there could be something popping for you, or there's something that you're going to find out, or there's gonna be some kind of revelation for you in the month of November. I'm feeling that for some of you here that have chosen group number one. And also I feel like with this rabbit, it's like follow the white rabbit. So I feel like you're going down like a rabbit hole, or you have gone through down a rabbit hole and there's some kind of revelation coming, um, coming forth in the month of November or very soon. <laughs> Okay, let's get into your reading. Okay, Spirit, what do we have for group number one? What do they need to know about their current situation? Advice? Anything for group number one? All right, let's see. Ooh, psychic gifts. <laughs> That's fun. Okay, psychic gifts. So somebody here has... Somebody here is psychic for sure, but I also feel like for somebody with this like rabbit also, there's just, I'm getting this feeling like your psychic gifts that you already have are going to, are going to get stronger, are getting stronger as you heal, as you move forward, as you, I'm hearing like you're doing all of the right, you're, what's the, what is it? You're, you're hitting all of the right marks is what I'm feeling for you. You could be a healer or a shaman, okay? You can heal people in some way. And it could be in many ways. You could be an actual, like, you can heal people with, you know, your psychic gifts. Maybe even not super, like, like I'm saying, like, you might not be an actual, like, psychic, but you might use your psychic abilities with another line of work that you may do. Or you could just plain and simple be a psychic in, or like a shaman or like a healer or somebody who like a spiritual coach or something like that. 
but I do feel like there's some kind of um, strengthening of this and a leaf, of course. Yeah, and a leaf, of course. <laughs> I say of course because this um, this rabbit is leaping. It's like making a leap, crossing a finish line. Yeah, but mostly I'm feeling like a leap, a big leap of something that's going to really grow your psychic abilities and really push you into a position of like a healer and a teacher. Okay, you have you know the way, intuition. Okay, wow. You know the way. Okay. Yeah, there's going to be something. You're just, I feel like you're just flowing. You know the way. Your intuition is really heightened right now. And I feel like you're, like I said, you're hitting all the marks. You're following your intuition. You're going with the flow. And that is really, really, I'm feeling, um, it's going to come back to you. Like, it's going to come back to you very favorably. Your kind of devotion and, um, what's the, yeah, your devotion. I want to say obedience, but that sounds too kind of like, like slave type, but I mean, it's true. You're, you're obedient to your higher self is what I'm saying. And there's nothing bad about that. Okay. So I feel like you're very, um, you're being very obedient and trusting in what you know and how you feel and following that. Okay. We have why so serious. Okay. So you might be a little bit in the energy of worry or kind of like, is frigid the right word, but a little bit like, like stiff. Maybe you might be stressing or kind of like, and this honestly feels like it's nothing too bad, but just kind of like, maybe you feel like something is coming or you do have trust in the flow. You, you do have trust in your own intuition and your higher self that it's leading you to where you want to be and where you're heading. But there is still like that. A there's a little bit of stress of like, when is it coming? What's it going to look like? It's just kind of like this unknown type of energy where it's just like the, the suspense is kind of killing you kind of situation. But you're being called to with this card. Um, you're being called to take it easy and to relax, okay? Relax and make sure you're leaving enough room in your life for fun, okay? Have fun, okay? Don't forget to have fun. This isn't all work. You got to play too, okay? That's what I'm hearing and feeling for you, group number one. Let's get into some tarot cards, shall we? What cards do we want to bust out right now? Do I want to use these? No, I'm not too familiar with those. Um, mum, mum, mum. Ooh, okay, let's do these ones. You'll like these ones. <laughs> That's what Spirit says. Spirit says they'll like these ones. These ones are good. <laughs> okay, what else for uh, group number one, please, Spirit? Whoa. Okay. We'll take that. All right, we have the Five of Swords here. Okay. Let's get a couple other cards to tell a story here for us. Ah! Oh, God. Okay. Okay, we have the Page of Cups. And, okay, let's see. Let me see if I'm picking anything up before I pick another card. Okay, one more card. Five of Swords, Page of Cups, and the Eight of Cups. Okay, let's see. What have we got here for group number one? So we have Five of Swords. Okay. Hmm. So, yeah, what I'm seeing for you, group number one, with the Five of Swords, the Page of Cups, and the Eight of Cups, it almost feels like there's something here that once, like, with the Page of Cups, I feel like there's a situation here. Um, I'm not sure. It could be many different situations for many different people. Um, I guess I'll give some examples. 
but let me tell you about the energy first um, and then I'll give you some examples. So the energy that I'm feeling with like this page of cups in conjunction with the five of swords as well as the eight of cups is I feel like there is something with this um, page of cups where it's a situation or something where you once were all about it, right? Like you were once enamored with it. This could be a situation, um, a place, a person, um, a job, you, you know, kind of whatever fits, you know, take whatever fits for you. But there's something here that you used to really enjoy, but now it feels like it's just, it's an old situation. I feel like there's an old situation where um, it's like a, an old game that you used to play <clears throat> or an old, like I said, it doesn't have to be a game or, you know, it's just an old situation that you were once, you know, you once felt curious and interested about. And now I feel like it's something that is just kind of you're inclined to do or you're just kind of in the situation, 11, 11 on the clock. Um, it's just a situation that you kind of were into at first and at this point it's just something that you're used to so you just do it or you're involved in it this could be you know being involved with a person or a, a friend group where that you do the same thing over and over and over again and sometimes it ends up in the same kind of it like it always ends up in a fight or a competition or you know you can't be yourself because someone always gets hurt because of who you are. And there's also, I feel like, an ego situation on both sides um, with you as well as the situation or person or experience or place, whatever it is for you. Um, there is an ego, like, clashing uh, in the situation that keeps happening over and over again. And it, it's like you're finally ready to leave this situation. You're ready to leave whatever the situation is. And, um, you know, you know what that is. You know what that is for you, group number one. But there's something that you're, it's just has been on repeat for so long that you're finally kind of aware of where you're like, you know what? Do I really want to keep doing this? Do I really want to be with these same people? Do I want to keep acting this way? Do I really want to keep believing this? You know, um, and you're finally deciding to walk away from it, okay? You are definitely deciding to walk away from it, okay? So what can uh, group number one expect um, after this energy? After, you know, being ready to walk away from this situation? What can group number one um, expect uh, to conclude of this energy? What's the conclusion of this energy spirit for uh, group number one, please? Okay, ooh, you have the Knight of Swords. Ooh, the Emperor. I like that. And the Tower. Okay, so with whatever it is, with this old shit that you're leaving behind, that you're finally tired of, that you're finally getting rid of and walking away from, after that which you can, may have already done or made the decision or currently like taking the steps to kind of leave a situation or go past something or someone, then things are moving really quickly. So things could be moving really quickly for you right now because you have finally released the baggage that was maybe holding you back. So because you're leaving a situation that's no longer working for you or that you no longer align with, things are moving very quickly for you. And it feels like with the um, removal of that um, unnecessary energy, you're more focused, okay? I'm feeling more focused, uh, a more focused mindset. Uh, like I'm taking my life serious now. I have my, I'm, I'm not distracted by this mess anymore. I'm super focused on what I wanna do. Um, as well as like we have the emperor here, which means, yeah, like not only are you focused, and are you moving fast towards what you really want? Your confidence has grown, um, especially after deciding to leave something that's not working for you. It has definitely put you in a position of power and of stability. 
and um, I'm also like seeing the six of wands in my in my mind even though it's not here right now but I'm seeing the six of wands which is like about success and recognition <clears throat> you're definitely coming into your own personal power like empowered emperor empowered yeah that's interesting you're definitely becoming empowered from kind of leaving something that has been long overdue for you to leave okay and because of all of this it's going to cause a tower moment okay or it is currently causing a tower moment i had kind of you might have like tingles on your head sometimes i just had uh tingles on my head so that could be uh pertinent for you <laughs> um but yeah there's a tower moment here that is either coming or is happening and it's going to reach a pivotal moment or a climactic moment uh yeah, but that's only because you're making all the decisions to leave the old paradigm behind. And when you choose to leave an old paradigm behind, it's going to break down into a tower energy, okay? So that's a good thing. This is a good thing. Old paradigms are breaking away so that you can um, have the time, space, and energy. It's new energy, right, to build, uh, build a new life with proper foundation and not faulty foundation as before. Okay. Yeah, so that's all I have for you, group number one. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Uh, let me know down, down in the comment section if you resonated with this. And uh, yeah, if you want a personal reading for me, you can email me. My email is in the description box below. If you liked this video and want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and like this video if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Okay, 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 group number two, this is going to be your reading. If you chose, if you chose group number two, this is your token, the holly, the holly, is that a tree, a holly leaf? I'm not sure. I don't know much about the holly, but what this is triggering for me, for you guys is something about Christmas. So you could have a birthday in Christmas time, um, or there's something significant for you for Christmas time or in December. December could be a pivotal or significant moment for you. Group number two, that's what I'm feeling for you. Okay, this could also be, you could also know more about this than I do. And so you can take that as confirmation for this being the reading for you. Okay, let's see. What is going on for group number two spirit advice? Anything that they might need to know for their current situation? Okay, all right. Okay, so your first card is home is where the heart is. It says your home is a projection of you, your heart, your inner world. Okay. You also have balance balance and it says mind and thoughts okay so you could be a little bit in your head too much yeah you know what yeah because <laughs> that's interesting i feel like there's a balance here about your head and your heart okay so it feels like there might be a little bit too much going on in the head and heart is saying hey i'm let me in i can help <laughs> right um, so yeah, I feel like for you, group number two, there's some, your heart is speaking to you. Your heart is um, asking you to let it in to your mind. Okay, they uh, your heart wants you to combine your mind and your the mind and the heart together, so that they're working together and not the mind thinking it has to control everything and then leaving the heart behind because the mind is protecting the heart. Right? The heart says no. Let me sit next to you. Okay. So this could be something internal. It could also be something regarding um, a partner, a divine feminine and a divine masculine. There could be a situation where you feel like you need to be kind of uh, the king of the castle because and then you need to take care of everything. But I feel like there is a feminine energy that's asking you to like let let me help or like let me sit beside you, not beneath you. Like I'm I can I can help you. Okay, there's like. Uh, yeah, like the heart, the feminine energy wants you to give it credit for being able to help you. Okay, so if you resonate with that, 
it's time to balance that heart and the mind together and not just feel like you have to control everything and it's all for it's all about you you know the world's on your shoulders you know let it let let spirit help you out okay that's another message for somebody here for group two let spirit help you out okay because it's it seems like um for someone here um someone is trying to do everything themselves that they were never meant to do by themselves okay so i do feel like spirit is saying let me in let me help or you know if you're it's a relationship situation divine feminine says let me in let me help and it it, it will be helpful for you to let in <laughs> divine feminine okay we also have compassion okay that's another heart energy compassion and love for fears and or enemies okay okay so that's just telling you that you know, reiterating to let in the feminine side, to let in the softness, to feel compassionate, to release any anger, anger, <laughs> to release any anger towards opposition or enemies or things that seem like they're kind of like cutting you down to kind of release the anger and the irritation and to bring in more understanding and compassion more love okay bring more love into the situation like i feel that very strongly in this reading for you group number two is to bring more love into the situation okay we have K kali ma here when i made this card i just kind of feel like i channeled this like i'm not i don't know much about kali ma at all i just felt the need to write it down so maybe you have some kind of connection to kali ma that i don't but we do have gentle here and then fierce here so that's also about balance okay balancing the gentleness with the fierceness that is very um clear here in your reading that we have a balance here that you're needing to kind of um balance <laughs> yeah you have something to balance here you have the heart the mind the feminine the masculine the uh um the heart the mind you need to kind of balance that because there's a leaning too much on what seems like um i'm not actually sure which one is is the one that you're leaning more well we have compassion here and home is where the heart is twice so i'm saying so i'm seeing that the heart is really wanting to step forward for you the feminine is really wanting to step forward for you okay let's see let's get into let's get into the tarot cards and see what see what's going on here for you group number two all right guidance for group number two please guidance for group number two please okay okay so you have the seven of cups You have the Six of Swords, okay, and you have the Nine of Cups. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so I, I, I felt something here. Somebody here might be stubborn, okay? <laughs> I, I am feeling a little bit of stubbornness when I saw this card. It's kind of funny. It it made me kind of feel this energy of like someone here is kind of being stubborn. Stubborn, stubborn, stubborn. Like there's just like stubbornness, stubbornness. And for somebody, this could be like the an inner part of you, your guides kind of kind of like talking to you, like you and you hear them, but you're kind of ignoring them because you're stubborn. But there's something that they're kind of nudging you about or hinting to you about. For others, this could be an actual like partner or a friend. Um, like I said, take whatever resonates, leave what doesn't. Don't make this, don't force anything to fit your situation that doesn't. This is a, a collective reading. But for somebody here, there is this stubbornness and this nudging of like someone being like, take it easy or like think like this or try to understand. And you're just kind of like, like, no, like, no, like. Like, I don't want to, but then it's going to, it's coming to a point where you're finally like listening and you're finally following your heart. And when you do that, it's going to get you in a place where you're super content with what you have. Okay. It's going to come with a lot of blessings that you're kind of like, you're happy about, but you, 
you did it in a stubborn way for a while, but it's still beautiful. Um, it's still beautiful, you know? You're a very cute person, I can tell. Your energy is very cute. I like you a lot, group number two. You're cute. You're good. I like you. Okay. All you need is love. <laughs> okay. So let's see. Let me get a... Take a look at your cards and pick up on some energy for you. Yeah, okay. So I feel like there's like a decision that you're yeah it's like that's so crazy it's a decision it's like you're you don't know what to follow do you want to follow your heart or do you want to follow your brain like I feel like your brain and your heart are kind of like in a little bit of a tug of war with you right now and you feel a little bit like ah indecisive of something or you don't know what to do but you're definitely making a decision here you're definitely making a decision here with the Six of Swords and then following the Six of Swords is this happiness, okay? So no matter what you do, you're going to make the right decision, okay? So if you're worried about something, I would say there's nothing to worry about, okay? Because you're, you're deciding to leave something, okay? It's like you're deciding to leave something or go towards something or the same thing or you're deciding to leave something to go towards something, right? And I feel like you, you've made this decision almost. It's like you feel like you haven't made the decision, but you have like you have made the decision and it's the right one because it's leading you to the nine of cups, which is wish fulfillment. OK, you have a wish fulfillment here after you make a decision. OK, but you do have to make a decision. And I see here that you have made the decision. You just got to kind of follow through with that. And once you do, you're going to get a wish fulfillment group number two. Okay, all you have to do is make a decision. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> I feel like spirits like just make the decision. Just make a decision. If you're going back and forth with a decision, spirits like just make the decision. It's going to be the right one. Okay, it's going to be the right one. And like I said, with, with this holly, it looks like there's something that's going to um, this wish fulfillment might come if not sooner in the December to, in December. Okay. 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 That's interesting. Uh, let's see. Okay, last message for group number two. Spirit, last message for group number two. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, that one wanted to come out. We'll let it come out. Okay, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, that's fun. The Knight of Pentacles. So with the Knight of Pentacles, I'm already seeing like, hmm, I wonder if this has to do with the, a, a decision. Like maybe you have, maybe you, ha you, you have some money or you came into, or you came across some money. You have some money, right? <laughs> or an idea that you're deciding what to do with. Maybe that's the, what you're kind of dealing with or what you're trying to decide to do with. Could have to do with you having the power, okay? You have the power to decide and now you're trying to decide like what to do. Maybe you, you haven't had the power to decide in a while or you're not used to having this kind of power so it's a little bit hard for you to decide what to do with it. And this power could be, you know, newfound confidence. It could be like I said, an idea, money, but yeah, I feel like there's something here about like you deciding what to do with money or an idea or power. Okay, what else for uh, group number two, please, to conclude their reading? Okay. Ooh, Knight of Swords, okay. Knight of Swords, we have the Knight of Pentacles and Knight of Swords. Let's get another, one more card to finish the energy story. <laughs> All right, one more card for group number two, please. Okay. Ooh, and the three of cups, that's fun. Wow, okay. 
So whatever this decision is that you have to make or that, yeah, that you have to make that you have maybe already made or that you're making right now, once you've made the decision, it's gonna come in quick. Yeah, like you're moving quick towards something. After you uh, make made your decision, after you make your decision, something is coming quick towards you, which is about your wish fulfillment. And we have these two, the nine of cups in conjunction with the three of cups. So not only is this, whatever this wish fulfillment is, it has to do with some kind of collaboration and either a real, and either a reunion with friends, a reunion with, for some people, I feel like this is a reunion with like um, spirit, like um, maybe a guide or some kind of spiritual connection that you have with a group of beings that you kind of lost connection with, that you're coming back into connection with, which is like the reunion energy, or you could be finding your tribe Okay, you could be finding um, a group of people, a group of like-minded people that you've been like hoping for or looking for or some kind of friends that you've wanted to have that you wish that you could have and you're finally finding your tribe, okay? So yeah, that sounds like fun. <laughs> okay, that sounds really awesome for you, group number two. I hope you enjoyed this reading. That's all I have for you. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up so you can see more videos like this. Um, if you want a personal reading for me, you can email me. My email is in the description box below. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments if you resonated with this, um, how you felt about this reading. And um, yeah, if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, and yeah, that's all I have for you today. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Okay. Okay, group number three. All right, so if you chose the rain cloud with the number 37, this is your reading, group number three. Okay, so with this rain cloud, what I'm feeling with this for you, group number three, is that you could have been going through um a hard time okay i'm already feeling the 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 message of this is going to turn into sunshine very quickly like it's time also a cleansing okay you're you're about to come out of a dark time you're about to come out of a cloudy rainy wet mopey time okay but i feel like this experience that you're having sorry i have like a I'm getting like a little headache right here behind my ear. That could be something that you could go, go through. You could be going through or you could have been going through. Maybe you've been having a lot of headaches lately or just feeling a little bit under the weather. <laughs> That's funny. Um, but yeah, there's something here about like dark times starting to clear up very soon. But what you're going through, uh, group number three, what I'm feeling for you is that the reason why you're going through kind of like a dark cloudy time is for the purpose of cleansing, okay? I feel like there's a healing process for you, 33, 33 on the clock. That could be significant for you, group number three. Um, seven, you could also be seeing 10, 10, or the number 10 could be significant for you. Um, October, yeah, October could be a significant month for you. Uh, you could be born in. October, you could have a birthday coming up, but um, yeah, I'm feeling that for some of you here, there is just this dark energy that is beginning to clear up, okay? Um, you know, and then with the rain, it feels like there's a clearing, it's a process, you're healing, okay? The dark times are kind of um, surfacing old stuff for you to release, and then the water's washing it away. The water is washing it away. The rain is washing it away. And you're going to soon see the sun, right? It's going to start feeling like sun, happy energy for you. So let's get into your cards and see what we got going on here for you, group number three. Okay, group number three. What do we got, Spirit? What do we have for group number three? Please and thank you, group number three. What's going on? 
Okay. So we have love in partnerships. Okay, we have discernment. Okay, so somebody could be going through a rough time with a partner or in love, okay? Not being able to, or maybe not in the past, being able to really discern whether someone is good for you or not. You know, kind of like ignoring red flags or something like that. And you finally being in a space in a process of like healing enough to decide whether or not something is good for you or versus, you know, being dependent on somebody. That's what I'm feeling for somebody here for group three. What else for group three, please? Ooh, awakening 1111. Yeah. Okay. So I feel like there's something that you're realizing about a relationship. Like your eyes are really open in um, being able to, yeah, like I said, to see whether or not something or someone is good for you and being healthy enough mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually to be able to discern right from wrong for you, right? I feel like there is no general right and wrong. It's only like what people perceive to be you know, good or not good for the specific person, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel like you're definitely like, <sighs> yeah, like I just, <laughs> I can see clearly now that the rain is gone. That's interesting. Like I just heard that song and that makes so much sense with this like rain cloud here. I can see I can see clearly now that the rain is gone. So, I feel like you may have been going through Oh. You could be have gone through something that you were building, right? Currently under construction. Thank you for your patience. So, you've been you've been growing, you've been healing, okay? And sometimes it's hard to determine what's good for us when we're still kind of in a healing process and sometimes there's external factors such as situations or people partnerships romantic or not where we tend to kind of cling on to those things because we're dependent you know so it could be that kind of situation it doesn't have to be that specifically but just kind of staying in a situation for a long time because you know why not right and now you're at a time where you're awakening you're starting to feel more empowered you're able to see clearly and have more discernment for what's best for you and what's not serving you um like i said whether that's a person uh, a situation or even a place or environment right um so let's see what else for group number three awakening that's fun oh Okay, we got this again. <laughs> so yeah, you're, you've been going through a process. You've been going through a spiritual awakening or an awakening in some way. Um, yeah, that seems like it's, it's kind of, um, it's about love, okay? And this could have to do with a partnership because it says love and partnerships, but this could also be more about you being more clear and having more discernment about what's good for you and what's not, okay? And that can be many things, okay? It doesn't have to just be love for some who don't res or yeah, for some who don't resonate with uh, partnerships or if they're not in a relationship or whatever. And then you also have quick movement, okay? So something, I feel like there's an awakening that you're having that's happening quickly and you're starting to make moves quickly um, as a result of this clarity, this newfound clarity. Okay, let's move on to some tarot cards to get into a little bit, to get into, to get into it a little bit more, <laughs> okay? All right, what's, what, what else do we have for group number three, Spirit, please? And thank you. For group number three, please. Okay, ooh, seven of cups. Group number two also had seven of cups. Okay. Seven of Cups. Interesting. So yeah, I feel like with the Seven of Cups, you've been like decide. You've been contemplating something. You could have been um, back and forth with a partner 
it feels like, yeah, it feels like there's some kind of situation here where you could have been going back and forth with the partner. You could be an on and off again partnership situation. Um, where you're just like constantly like, am I doing the right thing? Am I in the right place? Am I with the right person? Like there's this constant like. Like you're always weighing the like you're always weighing the pros and cons of being with somebody <clears throat> or being in a certain place or you know like I said take what resonates with you for some this is a partnership for some this is something more general for them but um, I feel like the main story here is a partnership so for some so for some of you here it seems like you keep kind of weighing like what's good about this relationship and then and then that keeps you right and then you start thinking about oh well this this is weighing me down and that makes you want to make that decision <clears throat> excuse me sorry um but yeah there's just I feel like there's just been this back and forth and back and forth and like I don't know what to do this is good if we if I stay this this is good this is good but then if I stay this is bad and this and it makes me feel this way and I don't know what to do which is better which which is which weighs the best you know let's see what else okay and you have the three of wands yeah it looks like you're planning something you're you're preparing to step out of the com you're preparing to step out of your comfort zone Okay, so it feels like you're going to make the decision that's uncomfortable but exciting, okay? it's I feel like there's like an excitement here but also a fear. Um, but I do feel more strong, like you're so close to making the right decision. And it doesn't matter what you do, you're going to make the right decision. I feel that strongly for you, group number three. I, there is a similar energy in group number two about this, about making a decision and um, it doesn't, it not mattering what decision you make, Spirit says you're going to make the right decision no matter what. It doesn't matter what you do because you're going to end up where you want to be because that's what you intend to do. So even if you make the wrong decision, you will get rerouted to the right one because you want to be on a path that will feel you know, fulfilling and exciting and happy and peaceful. You want peace. I feel like you desperately want peace, but a part of you is like, you're trying too hard, okay? Which is causing kind of like the cloudiness in the brain and feeling like, I don't know what to do. Decide this, decide that. Just make a decision, okay? Spirit says, just make a decision and trust it and go with the flow. Anything that, you know, happens that you're unhappy with, be aware of it and then make note of it and make the changes necessary to uh, keep on the trajectory of what you're um, wanting to experience moving forward, okay? Ooh, and then we have the Six of Cups. Okay, the Six of Cups. Okay, Six of Cups. Oh, that's interesting. I feel like wh whatever decision that you make that's going to be the right decision for you, it's going to end up you kind of... There's something here about the inner child. About whatever it is that you're doing, whatever decision that it is that you have to make and that you're making right now, it's going to result in some kind of integration with the inner child. Some kind of... What's the word? Um, hmm. I don't know how it, I don't know what to call it. Some kind of, yeah, but like some kind of integration with the inner child, like some kind of like situation or some kind of subconscious healing situation that started or when you were a kid, when you were a child. I feel like there's something that happened to you when you were a child that caused you to be in the kind of predicament you are in now. Or it could be a past life as well for some. Or both, really. Um, it could be something, yeah, like it's something that you've played out again and again. And because of that, I'm feeling like it's something that not only have you played it out again and again in this current life, but it's something that you have probably played out in previous lifetimes as well and you're finally at a point right now in this lifetime where you're done with that cycle 
okay? It's time to be awake. It's time to remember and you remember and you're breaking free from past like chains that stemmed from the child, your childhood. But even, you know, those things that stemmed from your childhood, that was passed down to you from like generation to generation. And you are connected to, to each generation. You could say that you, um, you know, down your family line, that's your, you're connected with that. Like your spirit is connected to, um, the, the, your generate, your generational background. Okay. And so there's a point where you're finally breaking your own curse. You know, you're breaking fam familial, uh, trauma or, um, yeah, that kind of like generational trauma, that generational, um, loop, right? You're finally breaking it and you're coming back to um, the beginning is what I'm feeling and making amends with it and moving forward. Yeah, I'm just like breaking a chain. Okay. Let's see. Concluding message for group number three, please. Can we get a concluding message for group number three, Spirit, please? And thank you so much. Okay, we have the Page of Cups here. Oh, okay, that's fun. So I feel like after this kind of Six of Cups energy where it's like you're finally making amends and like breaking that loop, that breaking that chain, um, there's definitely a new, a new experience happening. Like it feels very magical, okay? It feels very magical like something like a spell was finally broken and now you're able to actually enjoy your life you're actually you're actually able to enjoy the small things you're able to enjoy the little things because there is no more stress about the past there's no more stress there's no more stress like you had in the past because you broke the the curse okay take that how you, it resonates take Take that how it resonates, okay? He doesn't have to literally be a curse, okay? It just, you know what I'm saying? It's the energy of like the breaking of a curse so that you, you're you able to, like I feel like there's freedom here, right? Because this person, there's all there is is like there's somewhere to stand and then there's like water and it's so, it's so, it seems so serene and peaceful and you're able to enjoy the mundane things because you don't have all of this stress surrounding you anymore. You're able to focus and, and have more joy and love in your heart and to be more excited about the small things, which is such a beautiful thing. And it allows so much um, uh, power for you to be able to manifest the things that you really, really want that are in alignment with your heart. Okay. That's what I, th and I think that's the last card for you. Group number three. But yeah, that's all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this reading, this message. If you uh, resonated with this, let me know down in the comment section. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, um, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so I can keep doing these videos and so I'll, I can post more videos like this for you guys. Um, if you enjoyed this reading, please like the video. If you want a personal reading for me, you can email me. My email is down in the description box below. And that's all I have for you today. I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.